David, I wonder if you look at that city result, it was the only one of the major banks that reported results that actually topped revenue expectations. What exactly was it about the investor attitude towards that revenue beat that really sent City shares propelling? Well, it was a surprise you beat from City. It was largely driven by its, its trade and treasury solutions business uh, that is unique on the street. That's part of the global franchise that, that moves money around the world. Um, but also is a very low bar for City. It's, it's a longer term restructuring story. And investor positioning certainly had a big impact on the rally on Friday. So what exactly would have to happen, say, with results out of Bank of America uh, and or Goldman Sachs today? You, you could argue that both of those banks might have a bigger influence on the overall financial sector sentiment or that bank sector trade. What exactly would need to happen for either of those results to get the same kind of reaction that we saw in investor enthusiasm for Citi? I think, I think that'll be a little bit challenging um, for, for today because of the investor sentiment going in. I think, you know, Bank of America is a very popular name. Um, what we look for Bank of America, we think we'll have solid results. What we've seen so far, if you look at like JP Morgan's results, uh, the Chase business was very strong, um, but yet the, uh, the investment banking business was weak. We think that's what we'll see today, stronger performance out of Bank of America, but Goldman will have its challenges as investment banking is largely in a recession right now. Okay, if you look at the way that this kind of overall season is shaping up right now, even with the results on Citi last week, Wells Fargo kind of reported around that same time period, and theirs is more of a mixed picture, yet we saw a nice kind of trade developing there as well, a nice bullish move for that stock, despite some of the more mixed commentary there. Is it an indication in your mind, perhaps, David, that this financials trade might actually have some momentum going forward? after being talked about for such a long time? Yeah, I, I think they've been oversold right here. I mean, if you look at the super regional banks, they're trading around 52% of the S&P. That's about a 20% discount to historical averages. And so what we've seen is really good top line net interest income growth from that, from that group. And so we think that does kind of uh, performance lead its way through this week. Um, but we're actually more positive on, on more of the regional bank models. We would look at M&T uh, reporting on Wednesday as, as having big, strong results. Also, names like Regions and Fifth Third that have a lot of liquidity on their balance sheet, we think will drive uh, better results, and the market will like that. 